world is under heavy attack. Heretics are storming our defenses. We need immediate reinforcement. Admiral Spire. Yes, Inquisitor. Gather every vessel you can and travel to Orm's world at once. You must stop Abaddon, whatever the cost. He is searching for an ancient artifact known as the Eye of the Night. Do not let the despoiler claim this relic, Admiral. May the Emperor guide your guns, and may the heretics feel his wrath! Holy cow. Chapter two, Abaddon the Despoiler has launched an attack against the Orn's world system. I believe that what he truly wants is to seize another artifact of power known as the Eye of Night. Admiral Spire, you will take command of the assault force to break the chaos siege of Orn's world. It is crucial we keep this relic out of Abaddon's hands. Alright, planetary assault. Planetary assaults are battle on which the fate of systems depends on the armies that fight on the ground. Spatial supremacy and firepower will be vital to win the world. Attacker. Reach indicated areas with indicated ships in time. Defender. Force the attacker to miss enough objectives. Uh, I remember those. Those are like you gotta get them in a certain part of the map. It's a pain in the ass. Alright, so welcome to the Geth Gethsemane. Gethsemane? Gethsemane? Sector? Uh, Alright. We've lost four worlds too. Oh no, only two deployments for turn eight. We've lost four worlds. I have now five Blackstone Fortresses. Alright, so I guess there's going to be one more sector. That'll be all six. Uh, yeah, four of them are basic world product worlds. That cuts into our uh, renown. So we're losing 16%. Oh my god. Or is it 1% per planet? Yeah, that's what it is. So 1% per planet, and we're down 4%. So that's not too bad. We've also lost a portal world. Each portal world loss reduces the chance of a bonus deployment by 10%. Bonus deployment chance is 90%. Oh, that sucks. 4, 5. It's like we've lost 5 worlds. All right, well, no time to spare. We got to get to Orn's world per the Inquisitor. The Chaos forces have butchered the inhabitants of Orn's world, both humans and the native ratlings. We have organized a large assault fleet to take back Orn's world from the enemy and to secure the Eye of Night on the planet's surface. My agents report that the relic is still here. We must move quickly. Admiral Spire, your orders are to escort the assault force and break through the chaos defenses around Orn's world. This situation is critical for the Gothic sector. Therefore, I will personally lead the planetary assault from your ship's command deck. Oh, what an honor. All right. So I only get 300 points as an attacker. Uh, this, 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 might be, this might be a little dicey. Let's see what we're up against. Critical damage may trigger fires, which cause... Uh, huge hull damage over time. So only 300. Oh, dear. Yeah, I don't think we can take any uh, cruisers. Battle cruisers and battleships. Yeah, I can't wait to get those. Yeah, that's what we're going to need. Uh, I'm just thinking, yeah, I mean, otherwise it's just literally a Dauntless and a Cruiser, or a Cruiser and a couple of Escorts. Alright. The Imperial forces on Orn's world will not be able to hold out against the enemy much longer. You have to hurry, Admiral. Inquisitor, our fleet should push the Chaos ships away from the planet's orbit, so the counter-invasion transports can land. Agreed, Admiral. The Imperial forces will also need orbital fire support once we've finished the fighting in space. A few lance strikes will put these traitors off balance. Understood, Inquisitor. Let's send these heretics back to the Eye of Terror. Indeed, Admiral.
At your command. Admiral Spire, Chaos forces have taken control of the planetary defense platforms. Okay, you want me to blow them up? We are the Imperial Navy! Said that with such conviction. As the attacker moves ship to the bombardment zone to win, but where each bombardment window has a timer until it closes and becomes unavailable. So I got 80 seconds before my first bombardment mission here. Course plotted! Awaiting orders. Engines hot. Enemy ship sighted. Course plotted. Oh boy. Yes, Admiral. That was stupid of me. At your command. Sorry, we got time to burn. Understood. Enemy ship sighted. Who is this? That's not me. Awaiting orders. Engaging. I guess those are ally ships that I don't need to worry about. Admiral Spire, we have managed to confirm the position of a strategic chaos outpost on the planet. Wiping it off the map provides much needed support for the Astra Militarum troops. You must align a ship to the outpost position and bombard it now. Cruising speed set. Awaiting orders. Not a stasis field. God damn it. Enemy ship sighted. Target locked in. Changing course. Setting course. All ahead, full. Orders received. Cruising speed set. Not gonna make it. There's no way. Target locked in. I like how it's off the fucking map, too. It's great. This is a great game. Your orders? Your order? We failed to strike in time. The Astra Militarum regiments have been completely wiped out by the enemy troops. Well, it doesn't help that you set me in the worst possible position. Ship ready. Course plotted. Targeting enemy vessel. Enemy Admiral, we've located a new bombardment position. If we succeed, we'll deal the Chaos Forces a heavy blow. Don't we cut me off. We must not let this opportunity slip away. Engines to maximum! Your orders? Enemy ship sighted. Cruising speed set. There is hope, Spire. The Chaos forces on the planet have been crippled, and our troops down there are fighting more fiercely than ever. The Chaos forces have taken significant damage. Push on towards the planet. Initiate emergency repairs. Target locked in. 
Changing course. Engaging. Ship ready. Underway. Execute high energy turn. I think I just For whipped those Emperor. torpedoes. That's a shame. Awaiting orders. Understood. Yes, Admiral. Setting course. At your command. Lock on target. We are the Imperial Navy. A massive chaos stronghold is halting the advance of our ground forces. Get rid of it at once. Helm coordinates acknowledged. Engines hot. Cruising speed set. Understood. All ahead full. All ahead full, Capitan. Cruising speed set. We'll make it. Your orders? Course plotted. Engines to maximum. Cruising speed set. Yes, Admiral. Plenty of time. All right, so two out of three. We need one more. Reports from the Astra Militarum indicates that many Chaos strongholds on the planet have been taken down. We need to keep supporting their troops. Cruising speed set. Enemy defense platform destroyed. Changing course. Just depends where that last one is, I guess. Orders received. Awaiting orders. Helm coordinates acknowledged. Split up my forces here. Ship ready. At your command. New planetary objective. Yes, Admiral. Your orders? Enemy defense platform destroyed. Get out of my way! <laughs> that was dumb. Uh, we'll make it, we'll make it, we'll make it. Cruising speed set. Bulkheads collapsing, sir. No, Firestorm! Yes, Admiral. Underway. That's all right. The battle is lost. We must flee. This was your last chance, Captain. Why are you mutinying Four right before we four. win? You suck, game. Damage teams begin repair. Excellent. There we the go. last right, chaos victory. position has been retaken. I'm right there to the win. The have been wiped off the face of the planet. <laughs> All ships, your valor has earned you a place in Imperial history. Yeah. Impressive, Admiral Spire. Now that victory is certain, we need to land on the planet to seize the artifact and ensure it stays protected. If you know about these artifacts, why are you leaving them on planets that are unguarded? <laughs> Uh. All right, got some good XP. All right, every ship has defense turrets that have a chance to destroy enemy torpedoes. Congratulations, Admiral. The last remaining Chaos forces are being slaughtered as we speak. Sweet. Inquisitor, have our troops recovered the artifact? Unfortunately, no. An enemy transport ship has managed to escape with the Eye of Night on board. How? However, 
My agents have uncovered the location of a Chaos Space outpost where Abaddon intends to store the Eye of Night. All hopes are not yet lost. Hmm. Why would he store it there? I thought he was going to use it against us. Oh, it looks like we get a bonus deployment. Sweet. Let's check our port real quick. Make sure we don't have any uh, upgrades we're missing out on. Oh, we do. Look at this. All right, so we get a new crew. We got Commissar. We'll just start at the top, I guess. Alright, so we're going to get a new ability here. Uh, give me a Master Gunner. And an upgrade we can afford. Uh, this one is... Yeah, Light Macros, Light Macro, and Torpedoes. The shield generator. Sweet. And that's going to be it for now. Nothing with the cruisers. We haven't really used them. That's fine. We have that level 1 Dauntless we got to try to get into action, too. Alright, alright, alright. Back in action. So we're going to head to the Lysade sector. Assassination or a data recovery? Orc ships are pretty hard to kill. Ah, uh, let's see here. We can do a 400 point data recovery or a 450 point assassination. Actually, I'm probably going to go with the assassination. You just got to kill a boat. Yeah, let's do that. All right, assassination mission attacker, 450 points, an incoming transmissor transmission. I think that's cut off right there. That's supposed to be an N, but it's cut off. <laughs> that's weird. Uh, system status overrun from Lord Admiral Ravensburg. Threat Xenos Minoris. My agents have identified a high-ranking enemy officer that must be dealt with. Seek out the target ship and eliminate it. Destroy the target ship in time. That's always the problem, getting them in time. But... No escort, though. I like how you can't read the sword. We can lose the Dauntless and take, I think, three escorts. Yeah. Let's do that. Destroy the targeted admiral ship. Man, look at that thing. Nice and beefy. I mean, the orc ships look pretty sweet. I'm not going to lie. Plotted. Cruising speed set. Your orders. Awaiting orders.
engines to maximum. Orders received. Damn it, he escaped. Changing course. Enemy ship sighted. Setting course. Course plotted. Engines hot. We are the Imperial Navy. At your command. Orders received. Ship ready. Engines hot. Ship ready. At your command. Yes, Admiral. Course plotted. Helm coordinates acknowledged. Your orders. Underway. Yes, Admiral. Understood. Your orders. Course plotted. Get more bombers here pretty soon. I think we got them. Enemy ship sighted. Ship ready. Engaging. We've struck at the enemy's heart. There we go. Understood. Victory, baby. Adios, orc boss. <laughs> Bombers, man, I'm telling you, they're legit. Uh, we only have, what was it, four launch bays, so eight launch bays, but once you upgrade them and you get to the uh, the battleships, yeah. Yes, sir. Battle cruisers, I think they're called. The dictator. Keeping of Kill'em in the Fourth and the Chosen of Purity. All right. Very good, very good. If you have questions about how to play, check the FAQ or game guide. So just like that, turn eight is complete. We only leave one mission on the table uh, because of our deployments. We're, uh, we're out of deployments, unfortunately. So all that leaves is a uh, data recovery mission. I think that's Renegade Imperium. I think that's what that stands for. But uh, Orc Threat is still up there. I don't know why. Let's go check the port real quick. Oh, you've unlocked a new battle cruiser slot. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. You've unlocked another upgrade for your escort ships. You have won an additional deployment per turn. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Let's unlock this battle cruiser spot. The Mars or the Overlord? Oh, boy. All right. Heavy prow. Uh, prow heavy torpedo launcher. Launches six torpedoes. A lance turret times two. Plasma macro batteries. I think it was the Mars I went with last time. Heavy macro. Ordnance launch bit. Yep. Lance turret. And a Nova cannon. Yep, well, that's what we're going to go with. Can get three skills. Look, give me the... Augur probe. Like the auger disruptor. All right, so there's our new flagship, the battle cruiser Mars, the savior of Philaris. Interesting. Uh, we got a new crew member here. We're gonna take another squadron sergeant. Very good, very good. So our bombers don't get shot down. We can upgrade our firestorm again. Uh, we can't afford anything though. We got no renown. That's all right. I think we're gonna change colors too. Let's go ahead, let's switch to the blue. Corona's fleet, Adrantis. Adrantis, Adrantis. Is that how you say it? 
Eh, it don't matter. We'll switch up colors throughout the campaign. We'll go with the blue. I like that. Can't go wrong. It's like that Ultramarine's blue. I'm sure everyone's going to hate it. <laughs> Let's go back to the Gothic sector. And I think that's going to do it for turn number eight and uh, conclude the episode here. We now get three deployments per turn, which is very nice. So at least three battles, I think, uh, per turn. That's what we're looking at uh, for the next uh, episode here. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, catch you guys in the next one. We'll see how the uh, story progresses. Uh, until then, take care. Adios.